Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video. So if you are new here, my name is Sam. Welcome to the video. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, if this is something you enjoy, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. YouTube loves that kind of shit. Um, sorry, I keep seeing people walk by outside my window. Anyway, let me shut up. I have a new ring light, so my, I'm much better lit than normal. And I'm loving it. Anyway, so for today's video, um, we are going, I'm going to be doing like a little mini haul, but um, the purpose of the video is to just kind of, um, I'm going to test out makeup that I haven't tried before. Oh, my boo thing's home. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do a little mini haul and then also we're testing makeup I haven't tried before featuring Maybelline, some stuff out of BoxyCharm, some stuff I got at Sephora. Um, yeah, and then whatever I don't have, um, I will then... Sorry, my girlfriend's outside. She just got home. But anyway, whatever I don't have, I will just use stuff that I currently have. I'm going to try to make a full face out of it, but I just don't think I have a full face worth of stuff. Anyway, so if that is something you want to see, make sure you keep on watching it again. Please be sure to subscribe and join the Sam Fam today. By the way, this is just like collective, just stuff that I've gotten randomly throughout the last few months. Anyway, um, this is the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix. Makeup setting spray, setting spray, setting spray up to 16 hour wear matte finish. So that's the setting spray I'll be using today. And then I also got um, the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Um, the Superstay Ink Crayon, it's a lip crayon, crayon uh, by Maybelline as well. This is all Maybelline in this bag, by the way. I wanted to try a bunch of Maybelline. I have some concealer on my hands. So I'll swatch over here. So that's the color there, super pretty. That's the tip there. Excited to try it. Um, I've heard good things about this, so that's why I wanted to try it. And then I also got the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. All right, I think it's a liquid lip, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I will swatch this for you. Right here. That's it there. I'll be using both of those. Maybe do like some kind of ombre effect. So that'll be my lip. And then I also got the Lash Discovery Mascara. It's the little skinny one. Nakia Joy got me onto this. Pretty sure it was her. Yeah, she was talking about it and she loved it. So of course I had to try it. I'm pretty sure she's the one that told me about this too. Not told me, but you know, I watch her videos. I'm a huge fan, love her. Anyway. <laughs> um, so this is the Lash Discovery. It's a mini brush mascara. And I think it's meant for your lower lashes. Sorry to mind my nails, I just ripped all of my fake ones off. So that's it there, super skinny one. So I'll be using that probably just on my lower lashes um, cause that's probably what it's for. My animals are losing that. No, I think it's for both up and bottom. So I will try. All right, so that's that. And then next from Sephora, again, this is all collective, just random stuff that I've gotten. All right, first up I got from the Inky List, the Vitamin C Serum. I love Vitamin C and the Inky List has amazing ingredients. Um, I learned about them through Hiram, uh, skincare by Hiram, love that guy. I learned so much from him and I'm an esthetician and I still learn a lot from him. Um, but anyway, so I'm excited. I'm just turn this down again. Hold on. I don't know. Anyway, I'm learning the ring light, guys. Sorry. Um, so I will be trying this. Obviously not today, but I will be trying this. Um, that's it there. Set that aside. And I also got the um, First Day Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHAs, safe for sensitive skin. Um, anyway, I get bumps really bad around the, my thighs and the, my, uh, the back of my legs and on my butt and stuff from sweating so bad because I'm also a bartender and I think I get heat bumps and then just ingrown hairs and all kinds of crap. So I got this to try to see if it really does help erase bumps because your girl needs it. It's sealed and I'm not going to unseal it right now. Then I've also got, I love youth to the people. I got the Discovery Kit. Um, 
It was on sale, I think. Oh, one of my kitties is crying. Okay. She's trying to get out. If you haven't seen any of my recent videos, we took in two new kittens. You're getting so big. This is Winifred. Say hi. Say hi, Purrin. Ooh, I just rubbed that all over you. Whoops. Anyway, uh, this has got the Deep Moisture Cream, the Superberry Hydrate Plus Glow Dream Mask, the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser, and the Kombucha Plus 11% HA Exfoliation Power Toner. So it just opens up like so like that. Do any of y'all watch TikTok? Probably, that's stupid. Tabitha, like so like that, cause that's my business. I love her. Anyway, so it comes in this cute little brown box and this is the display here. This is everything in it. This one here is a full size, I'm pretty sure. These are glass bottles, so that's really awesome. Glass is so much better for the planet because you can reuse it over and over and over again. Where plastic, you can only reuse it so many times, so you can only recycle so many times. I can never film a video without interruptions out the ass. Anyway, <laughs> um, and this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I'm super excited to try all of these. Oh, love it. My skin has been doing really good lately. I'm gonna do a favorites video. Um, it's probably gonna be like my top five favorite things right now that I love and I'll tell you what I think is really contributing to my skin. Next and last out of the Sephora is I got this little um, smaller version of the Timeless Soothing Primer. Um, Tati, I'm pretty sure this is the one that Tati is like obsessed with but I saw it in the smaller version and I've been wanting to buy it and I was like oh, what if I hate it when I buy the full one? So I found it in a cute little smaller version. So this will be my primer that I use today. Oh, it feels so good. It feels like I'm gonna love it, but we'll see. Anyway, um, if you guys don't know, I have oily textured skin and I do suffer from breakouts a lot. I'm just doing really good right now. Don't have near as many as I usually do. Um, next I got from Amazon, it's this, it's Dolger, Dolger, Dolger. Um, that's the brand there. And they're just little cute nerd glasses, grandpa style nerd glasses. I love, uh, oh my God, hold on, take this off. My hair looks crazy, I need to straighten it y'all. Just bear with me here. Oh my God, look at my little nerd glasses. <laughs> but anyway, so I got these just because they were cute and nerdy and I kind of love the fake glasses. Don't come for me, okay? I do think I need real glasses though, nighttime wise, because your girl's getting old. I'm over 30. Well, I'm 30. Anyway, it comes with a little tool um, to like tighten stuff if it gets loose. And it comes with a little glasses case, which is cute, and a little wiper thing. So that's cool. Especially for just Amazon. If I say that's cool one more time, I swear to God. All right, next I got this remote for our TV. We have this one, but I drop it every five seconds and now it's broken and it's on its last leg. So I went and got another one off Amazon. They're really cheap, they're like seven bucks or something. Um, oh, this one's nicer. This one's like a matte finish. I don't, I don't remember it being so bad. <laughs> I drop it all the time. So let's get a new one. And the first thing you do is drop it. Y'all, if I already broke this, my girlfriend's going to have my ass on a platter. Doesn't sound very good. Anyway, and then I got, so I can not drop it and break it every five seconds, because you can see, obviously, that I drop it all the time already. I got these little cases. Um, for the 
this thing, the remote. Anyway, it comes in this really cute little purpley blue and then a red. And then also off Amazon I ordered, all right y'all, it's a shit ton, but I ordered a bunch of silicone gauges because I keep losing mine. So clear, red, this like cute tie-dye color, orange, green, another tie-dye looking one, blue, orangey tie-dye, black, oop, another blue, um, pink tie-dye, it's like camo looking one, gray, this other tie-dye looking one, this one's like a dark tie-dye, I don't know if you can see the green in it, clear, white, blue, red, red and black, red and white, or white and black, like a tanny color, purple and pink. Oh my god, 24, it's 24 pairs, and I think it's like 10 bucks. So, yeah, sign me up, please. Just throw it over here. <laughs> All right. Next is a bag from Marshalls. I picked up these boyfriend shorts. If you can see them, they got little rips down at the bottom and then this is the butt. Um, that's what those are. Then I got this, right? Are those from, no, those were from Old Navy. I'm sorry, those are Old Navy, but they were in my Marshalls bag. Then this is from Marshalls. This is a little cute little top. I did get some shorts from Marshalls too, but I've already worn them. They're like this cute little black pair, but I have them in the wash. Anyway, this cute little flowy, girly, like blush pink top. And then I got this little bag, uh, or this little pack of Adidas socks. Love those. And then I got this little brush because the one that I used or that I have is I use on my clients. It's a really good one. So I just bought this little cheap one for myself to see how it works. It was $9.99 and it's by Precision Beauty. And my girlfriend got some boxes. Some boxes. Beth, come here. She's naked, hold on. All right, anyway, so this is the next um, thing I'm gonna do. It's May's BoxyCharm box. Um, I did randomly throw this in there because I've been meaning to try them and I haven't been able to. They're from another BoxyCharm box that I have and I just never got around to using them. So I'm gonna use them in today's video. And then we also got the micellar water from Tarte. I love my cellar water, so take my eye makeup off with. That's it there. I've been wanting to try this, so that's cool. Can't try it today. That's all right, though. Um, next, we got the Elemis Dynamics Resurfacing Facial Pads. Won't be trying those today either. Next, the Studio Makeup Ease to Wear Eyeshadow Palette. Never really heard of Studio Makeup, I don't think. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if I'll be using it in today's. I'll leave it out because I want a more vibrant look on my eyes, really. And then next we have the Pretty Vulgar blah, 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 Eyeshadow Primer. Never tried this, so I'll use this as my eyeshadow primer. And then we also have the Appeal Liquid Lipstick in that color there. And I already have two lips going, so we'll see what I want to wear out of all of these. And I still have one more BoxyCharm box to go through. So, like I said, I'm trying to accumulate a full face. I'll go ahead and swatch this one, even though I've already kind of got cat hair and all this other crap. So, it's this one here. So, we'll see. We will see. Get this plastic off. Anyway, that's it there. Where you go? And then last is June's Boxy Charm. I've already opened it, gone through it. 
Um, this is the, it's called the Oasis. It's got all the information on the back. First up is Kylie skin. I'm gonna leave my thoughts to myself at the moment. Um, I know that this is packed full of stuff I don't really care for. Um, fragrance being the number one, but I'll give it a try. You know, you never know. I mean, I do know, but you never know. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't like to waste anything and I'd rather try it on myself and tell you guys about it before you guys try it on yourself or tell my clients about it if they're like, I got my Kylie skin when I ask them their skin and hair routine and I keep like, but I'm not gonna judge a little guy's cover. I don't know yet. I don't have anything by Kylie, nothing, but I know what's in this. I don't know. Next we got the charcoal brush set. <laughs> charcoal brush set bristles infused with charcoal for antimicrobial effect. Did you forget you got these? And drunky McDrunker's in. When you were Steven and I went to Marshall's. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Anyways. Where were they? In my Marshall's bag? Mm hmm. Um. Um. I need lotion. I'm gonna go get some that's in the bathroom. In the bathroom. No, you're lotion. Baby, it's in the bathroom. Why do you keep lotion in here? Because I keep it there so I get out of the shower and put it on. Okay. I do cheat. Um, are you on video? Yes. You can't double duty the litter box like that. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I'm not putting it in here. I have a knife, so I'll put it in here. Well, then you need to find somewhere else because you can't be doing that unless you're going to scoop it every day. Okay, are you done? Can you take this, please? No. Maybe model it for you? No. Can I please finish my video? No. I thought you wanted to look at my mullet. Like that's causing purpose. Get out of here if you cry. Come on, Peter. Mommy doesn't like you. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, you Anyway, this is why I have to edit so much of my videos because she bothers me. But anyway, so it came with this little brush set here. Um, it's by Billion Dollar. I think it's Billion Dollar Brows is the brand actually, but it says Billion Dollar Brushes. I don't know. Anyway, so, oh, this is a lot more than I thought. I will be using these in today's look as well too. That's them there. Let's fill them. Oh wow, these feel really nice. Oh, yes, yes. All right. Um, Kylie skin, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Next we got um, from Lily Lashes, the Triple X Mascara. So you guessed it, this will be the mascara. Oh no, I have another one. Okay, maybe I will be trying this on the lower and this on the upper. We might end up with a full face of first impression, y'all. We just might. <laughs> um, oh, it's such pretty packaging. This is it here. And, oh, I love wands like this. That's the mascara. So I will definitely be trying that today too. Next from Bodyography, we got two lip pencils, which... I'm not sure if I already have these pencils or not. I think I might already have these. Ooh. If I do already have these, I will be using the ones I currently have. So I don't open these yet. But it's in the shade Rosewood and Pouty. So that's those there. Let me look real quick and see if I have those. Okay, I don't have those ones. I have close to them, but not quite those ones. So I will be using these today, hopefully on my lips, if they go with the current. This one here is Rosewood, and then this one here is Pouty. These will go great, probably, with what I'm doing. All right, so that there is Rosewood, and that there is Pouty. Pouty will probably look good with the 
lips that I will be using today. So I'm using that lip liners to use today. Next, we got the Pure Heels by Nature Village Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. That's that there. Comes with a little spatula. And then, God, this feels nice. Animals, this feels nice. <laughs> What's the matter? Sorry, guys. That's it there. It's just a little jelly consistency. And sleeping mask and 80% honeybee propolis extracts provides full nourishment and glowing skin for tired while you, for tired skin while you sleep. Sleeping mask, cute little thing. Obviously, can't wear that today. Um, and then I love that I got this. I think this is the one I chose to get. It's the Gasha. 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 Um, and then next, I have the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream S with SPF 30. Oil-free, moisturizing, natural-looking coverage. Matte meets glowy finish for all skin types. Now, here's the deal. I tried this on my arm, and I've heard other people talk about it. It's really dark. Like, it's really dark. So, I don't know. It is a BB cream, so maybe it smears out. Okay, that's it there. Yeah, maybe I can make it work. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I can make it work with concealer. <laughs> um, so I guess I will be trying that today too. And then last, I have the Tarte Pro palette, which I already have. I'm not going to open this because I already have this. So um, this might go in my giveaway. I have a giveaway going. I've had a giveaway going for months and months and months now because I'm trying to build my channel and I've only got 90 something people. I'm working to get 100. If I can get to 100, I want to do a giveaway and this may or may not be in that giveaway. We'll see. So subscribe. <laughs> All right, that's it. Um, let me show you the Pro Palette real quick. This is it here. It is the exact same one that I got, so. Um, and then that's it there. So I guess I could use this. I wanted a more vibrant look, but that's okay. I guess I can use these two palettes um, for my look today. Um, this won't be first impressions though, sorry. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. All right, so that being said, that's everything, my little mini haul. Um, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be actually. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And we're gonna do a little first impressions. I start with my eyes because um, I'm messy when it comes to eyeshadow. So let me move my mirror in here. Um, excuse all my brushes, they're dirty. I got my color switch on standby, where'd you go? I have a sponge I haven't tried yet either. It's the next gen by the cream, sh the cream shop. Cream shop? Cream shop, cream shop, it's the cream shop. Um, I got some Trigger Max a million, million months ago. Ooh, it feels good. Um, I'm gonna go wet this, and this will also be in my first impression. I'll be All right, we're gonna go in with the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow base. I don't even know how much to use. I've never used this before, so we're just gonna wing it. All right, if I speed anything up, it's just because you don't wanna watch me blend a bunch of crap out. So I blended it out and it doesn't have, it looked like it was gonna have a pigment, but it didn't have, like it's not the color correcting anything, um, which is fine, but I do like a good color correction uh, primer for my eyes. Just get to cancel out any of the redness or whatever. Um, but that's okay, I can't tell you my thoughts on this until the eyeshadow wears on it. So there's that. I'm gonna try to stick to just these brushes alone. So these are the brushes. Um, I'm gonna be using this one by the Billion Dollar Brushes. It's the highlighter brush. That's not a highlighter brush to me, but I'm gonna be going in and making this my transition shade. Um, it's not really tutorial, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through all this and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Um, yeah. A lot of kick up in this, by the way.
All right, so for the first brush that I tried, it's a little too dense for what I want. So I'm going in with the Lavish Tapered Blending. And I'm gonna kind of blend this brown. This I used Lace and Bare so far out of the uh, Makeup Studio Palette, or Studio Makeup Palette. This is much better. That one was just too dense. All right, next I'm going to go into Dusk out of the Studio Makeup with the same brush. I think that's all I'm going to use out of that palette for this. Um, next, using the same brush, I'm going to go into my color switch. I got limited brushes here because I'm trying to use everything new. I'm trying. Went to my color switch here, and now I'm gonna hop into. Um, let's see, mod, and just right below every all that work I just did, I'm gonna focus right out here. You can see. Sorry guys, I need a little farther away, but my table's got a good space and I'm on my front facing camera on my iPhone, so. Now we're gonna hop into, all right, first I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use this Billion Dollar Brow, what is this one? Concealer brush. And I'm gonna wet it. Oh, I need some more of this. Oh. Yes, I'm wetting it before. And I'm going to hop into this um, trendy shade down here. And I'm going to put this on the inner to the mid middle of my lid. That's what we look like. Like a crazy person. Hop into my color switch. I'm going to use that same concealer brush. I'm gonna wet it again. And then I'm gonna hop into Minx out of the palette, which is right above Moody. And I'm gonna put it at the end here and kind of blend it into the colors I already have going on over here. All right, now I'm gonna go back into the tapered blending. And I'm gonna hop back into Mod, just very lightly and kick off a lot. And then just kind of make all this blend together. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm not gonna kick anything off. I'm gonna hop right into Trendy, just ever so slightly, and then just kind of help marry these two together again. All right, now I'm gonna hop into the BB cream. Oh no, I'm sorry, the primer, the Tarte Primer, Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. That's what it looks like there. I'm just gonna rub a little bit on, and then just press it into the skin. I'm like sort of wiping too, but like I'm pressing too. Yeah. All right. It feels um really nice. Poor filling for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks nice so far. We'll see if it, like, looks different with makeup on it, although the BB cream is the first impression too, but it looks nice. Oh, I need to wax that mustache, bro. Oh, and these brows are a whole nother story I want to talk about. All right, I'm going to go in with my brush for the BB cream, and then I'm going to pat it out with the, um, the sponge. Put about that much there. And I'm using the Billion Dollar Brush. Uh, this is the contour brush, which I will never use one of these brushes for contouring. New no, ma'am. I do like brushes like this for like, oh god, that's tan. Go down the neck, girl. <laughs> I do like these kinds of brushes for, um, applying BB creams, applying lighter stuff, moisturizers, things like that. It 
It's definitely a light wear, but I mean, it's a BB cream, so that's a given. I ran pretty much through that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can build it up. I just put another little pea size amount and I'm gonna use, oh, that's weird, there's no end that's round. I'm gonna use the side and kind of just see if it's buildable in any way. But I do like natural, more natural foundation. So I like BB creams, especially for my everyday lazy self, you know? It definitely looks nice. And it looks great over this um, uh, primer, but we'll see how it all holds up. Especially because I'm very oily and it's tan. It's a lot more tan than I am right now. Your girl stays white. Every now and then I have self tanner on or I've gotten some sun, but I put SPF on my face like religiously from, it doesn't see sun very often, you know? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, get down to wear. But, it looks pretty freaking nice. Um, don't judge me, but it's my Belief Beauty Concealer, but it's got a pretty vulgar lid on it because the Belief Beauty one broke. So I just like kind of made this fit on there because I do like the Belief Beauty one, especially for like natural stuff. So I think this will look nice with the natural BB cream. All right. God, I love this sponge y'all. This sponge feels good. Have y'all used the Crim Shop sponges? Mine has been on these. This just feels nice. Nice. Okay. I don't have a new powder either, so screw it. I'm gonna talk about Believe Beauty a lot, so I'm gonna go with my Believe Beauty powder. And I'm just gonna lightly set down under my eyes with the sponge, and then I'm gonna go back in with the Billion Dollar Brushes Powder Brush. And I'm just gonna kick some off and then just finish off the rest of my face. All right, no new bronzer, no new highlighter, right? So I'll just go in with current. I'm just gonna do a light bronzer. Um, this is the Sephora um, Bronzing Face Powder in number four. And I'm using this brush again. I'm not being very particular. I'm not trying to contour. I'm just trying to put a little bit of bronzer on. My voice is going out. And I'm going to the current. This is a pretty vulgar um, uh, highlighter. I don't have a new highlighter brush. None of these will work for that. So. I'm just gonna go in with this um, Luxie one. Um, real quick, I'm gonna spray. I like to spray my face in setting spray before I put mascara on and um, lips because I feel like all that smears easier. I do need to do underneath my um, lash line for my shadow, but we'll get there. It's a really long video, sorry guys. <laughs> All right, testing out the eyebrow, um, blah, 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 blah. the brow groomer by Lavish Brushes. I'm gonna brush these bushes up. I need to do them. I laminate and tint my brows and they are overdue. I'm just gonna speed through this. All right, so I wish I did my eyebrows first um, so I can clean them up. But I just got too excited and forgot about it because they need help because they're so bushy. Um, but I can't clean them up right now because I don't want to ruin my. Maybe I can a little bit. Oh, I just don't think they're helping them. They're so bushy. They're just. Can y'all see these? Oh, girl. But this brush is pretty bomb. I think we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna be full bush today. You feel me? Um, I'm gonna go back in and put some brow gel on real quick. 
I don't have a new one. I'm gonna go my Blue Beauty. I use a lot of Blue Beauty. This is not sponsored. I am not like it would ever be. That's funny. I use a lot of Blue Beauty, but they're just good stuff, man. All right, real quick, I'm going to add a color or two on my lower lash line. Did y'all hear her? I'm gonna add a color or two on my lower lash line and uh, get to the mascara. I went in with uh, Whimsy, by the way. But I'm using the brush, the eye shading brush for lavish. Okay, I just went in with Whimsy on the outer and then uh, trendy on the inner, but just very lightly. I didn't want it to be like, um, you know what I mean? Anyway, so that's that. Let's go in with a mascara. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm losing it. All right, going with the lash discovery. I'm just going to do my bottom lashes first. I always do bottom because I got naturally really long lashes. So when I do the top, they get, I didn't even use these. What am I doing? They touch and it's just not good. It's just, it's too much. These brows, girl. Who we gotta tame these babies soon. Wow, these babies look really like, I don't know if you can see, but like fluffy. All right, again, I'm gonna save all, my, I don't know if I said this yet or not. I'm gonna like do a quick overview of everything at the very end and then tell you what I can touch on. Going with the Lily lashes now. I'm gonna go on the top. When they're wetter formulas like this, I pump air into them. I like a drier um, mascara, especially for these oily ass lids. Oh wow. Yeah. Hello. I just feel like I can't figure out this lighting. Like, does it look better bright like that? I don't know, maybe not. You tell me. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see the mascara or not, but that's what it looks like. Not a big lash wearer, by the way, y'all. I do it every once in a blue moon. I still let my straighten her uh, heat up, but let's go ahead and do the lip. My lipic, my lipic. Maybe I should have had it this bright the whole time. Whatever. All right, we're going with Pouty. All right, I've already used these before, so I kind of know what their the deal is on them, and I like them. But they're a drier formula Ugh. because, and I just kind of just roughly did it real quick. Pouty really does make you look pouty. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they're a drier formula, so. The easier to use without making a mistake. God, that was hard. I decided I'm gonna use these two because I've already used an appeal, so it's not really first impressions. So I'm gonna use these ones because I've never used them before. Noise. Now, I'm gonna go over top with the liquid, liquid lick. <laughs> the liquid lip. No. Got a nice little ombre moment. Looking pouty. <laughs> All right, now I will be right back with my hair straightened and maybe an outfit I like. Forgot to set the face, girl. And I know I used the other setting spray earlier, but that's my bad, okay? Okay, let's set it and forget it. Although I didn't want to set it again after this. Whatever, you know what, whatever, it's fine. I'll just. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, it really shoots out at you. You think you have enough? Maybe just put more on, okay? All right. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I just did this little shirt on. It's kind of wrinkled. I don't care. Anyway, this is the finished look. I was gonna wear my nerd glasses, but I just don't think they go. Oh, sorry, girl. I just don't think they go. 
I'm with a, uh, like a really girly outfit right now. Um, so we're gonna pass on those, but this is the final look. If you guys like this kind of video, I know it was very long. Make sure you subscribe and join the Sam fam today. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I realized that I forgot to mention how I felt about each product. <laughs> like first impressions and then you can do it. Anyway, so... This is like later in the evening, sorry. But I guess it's a good thing because now it's kind of like a check-in. Um, the BB cream is looking pretty darn cute and good. Um, I'm not mad at it. Can't get over my eyebrows still. Um, primer's looking good. Everything stayed attached. <laughs> uh, as far as the eyeshadow, uh, the primer, the eyeshadow primer, like everything's holding up like it, it usually would. Um, so I'm liking that too. So the setting spray, it was a little bit like harsh, but I do, do enjoy it now that it's later in the evening. I didn't mean for it to like turn out like this, but now it's later in the evening. I do enjoy this. Um, the sponge is hands down really good. I like the primer a lot too. The brushes were all fine. The BB cream, like I said, I think it's good for like an everyday wear. I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm gonna see if it powders fine. Like, you know, to get rid of some of this oil or whatever. It definitely powders fine. The eyeshadow, I already knew. Um, the eyeshadow is, you know, good eyeshadow. It's not like my favorite eyeshadow palette, but it's not the worst. Um, the lipstick, I will say, I've worn this. I've had drinks. I've eaten. I haven't reapplied once. And it's so comfortable. It's not one of those lipsticks that you feel is on. I mean, I'm wrong. It's worn off. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, it still looks really cute to me. Like, I don't remember wearing this all day, every day. What the heck is this? Um, so I think these might be the star of the show today. Um, yeah, lip liner is good. I've always known that. Oh, the mascara it has not transferred. I will say that I love the lights, camera, lashes, but it transfers too. When I'm sweating a lot or I'm out because I've oily eyelids, um, and it has not. Same with the lower, the lower still looks good. So both mascaras are a win for me. Um, yeah, I would have to say like, it's, all in all, it's a pretty round, like all around it's, it's a pretty good uh, first impressions, I guess you would say. So that's my update on everything.